a short time ago, Justin Hansen learned his fate. He was sentenced to the maximum 18 years for beating the Cibola High School student with a shovel in her home back in 2008. News 13's Marissa Lucero was there. She is live downtown at District Court. Marissa? Dean, the sentencing hearing alone lasted three and a half hours. Brittany Marcel's family attacked Hansen, calling for the maximum. Hansen's family defended him, saying he was a wonderful man and father. Both Brittany Marcel and Justin Hansen also addressed the judge. I ask that they use, you use the responsibility given to you to punish Justin Hansen for his brutal crime against me and give him the maximum sentence. He may get out of prison one day, but because of the extent of my injuries and emotional trauma, trauma, I will always be confined to a prison of fear. Now, the attack happened 10 years ago this September when the Cibola High School senior went home to meet her mother for lunch. Today, prosecutors painted a picture of what happened when she got there, saying she was surprised by Justin, Justin Hansen, attacked and beaten with a shovel. The attacker took off when Brittany's mother came home, but he left behind blood when he broke a window to make his escape. Nearly a decade later, APD detectives connected Hansen to the crime when Marcel remembered his name after undergoing hypnosis and his DNA was sure of a ma match the blood found at the crime scene. Today, Hansen's father and mother both spoke to the judge, both of them apologizing to the Marcel family, but still insisting he's innocent. Justin Hansen also addressed the court, never admitting the crime as Brittany Marcel sat directly behind him. I want Brittany and Diane to know that I've thought about them so much over the past year. And I haven't said, said anything out of respect for what they've been going through and to can continue to go through. Not because I don't care. I've just put myself in their shoes. Now, he also got emotional when, when he read messages addressed to his four children, telling them to do well in school and to remember him and the moments they've shared together. Judge Cindy Leos also addressed and made it clear that the evidence against him was very damning and that his tears that he shed today were only tears of regret for making a very bad decision. He was then placed in immediate custody. Back to you. All right, Marissa, thank you. Now, despite his claims of innocence, Hansen pleaded no contest to the attempted murder Three months ago, there's still no motive for the attack. The two did, did know each other from jobs at the Cottonwood Mall.